So there are a bunch of ways to rig your character. Some of them are auto and some of them are totally manual. So in this video, I am going to show you the five methods to actually rig your character. So there are pros and cons for each method and exactly that I will be explaining in this video. So the fifth method is my favorite one and you can tell your favorite one in the comments. So we will be starting from the first method and let's jump into that. Okay, so we are here at the blender screen and we have this character. If you want to use your own character, you can use that. Or if you need the exact same character, I will put a link in the description. It's a free model from Sketchfab, so you can download it from there. And now let's um, pick up the first method. So the first method is the Megzamo rig. So Megzamo is a website that automatically rig your character once you upload your FBX or any 3D uh, file format there so it will automatically rig that and then you can import it into blender so let me show you how we can do that so first we have to select our character uh, add to select all and now export this one as an fpx and do it on the text desktop so i would put a model break give it a simple name and now you can do some setup that I did so you can see my setup it's the selected object and mesh and all the stuff also we can turn the textures on so once we are uploading we will see the textured model so that will be more better and now I would export this one to my desktop and now come up here to my Chrome browser and here as you can see I am at the Megzamo website I will put a link in the description of this site if you want you can check it there or just search for Megzamo and you will come up to this one and you first need to sign in so make sure to do that and after this you will get to this default screen so we can actually now upload our character so I will click on upload character now what I can do is I can drop our model here or I can click on this one and then coming up here where my model is placed so I would pick that model, model rig, and it will take some time to upload depending on your character. Okay, so as you can see, my model is ready here. I can turn it around if there there is any rotation issue so I can just click on rotation or if it's upside or downside so you can just check that but my model is okay and I will click on next and then we will put up the chin so we have to place these uh, each with the place that are required so these are the wrists elbows so this is really important make sure to place it exactly in the center of these two so I will put it roughly there now and now it's time for the knees so make sure you need you know that where are my knees placed and this is the ground which is the base and the hip area so I think that was it I can actually um, make the fingers no finger Two finger chain and three but I would go for the standard skeleton and click on next okay so as you can see our model is here and it is now completely erect and as you can see it's uh, adding the idle animation to it but if we click on next now the best part is this website can also allow you to add animation and this whole thing is completely for free so I can click on any animation that I want and it will actually start doing that and as you can see this is how you can check your rig if there is any issue or not and also you can download it with animation and that will exactly work so let's now download it this one I would do it with skin it means that it will also download the mesh so I need that and we will leave the default setting like this and we will click on download huge library you can search for any animation that you want it have hundreds of animation 
and all of them are exactly for free so you can just check that and so our file has been downloaded let's click on open and now I would simply delete this model and import that one so just drag that FBX and I also need the animation so check on that and import it and as you can see our model is now working really great and let me show you how the rig is it if we don't want to use that animation as you can see this rig is fully functional and it's actually working really great okay so starting the second method and this is really simple um, actually there are a lot of models that are already rigged online and that are completely for free so what we can do here is that we can copy their rig and import it into our character so let me show you how that works so you find any online model that you like as you can see it have this model and I downloaded the blender file and just copy the rig from it as you can see this one is here and now what will we do is control C and now come up here and control V and now I can actually scale this one according to my model and make sure to apply the scale and rotation go to the edit mode and what we have to do is to just match our character so I would select these and I need to rotate that but let's place our cursor here shift right click and cursor here and now I can just do it like this so it would make it more easy it will take some time to actually um, place it exactly according to your character but just take your time and other than that it's pretty easy and a really good way to actually rig your model so from the top view as you can see it has some issues so I will just quickly match it according to our model so as you can see I'm trying to place the joints on joints so that our rig is fine so make sure you have the symmetry turned on so you can actually match it easy and then it won't take that long okay so we are done with that and now select our rig and then select all and then control P and make this one with automatic pads and now as you can see if I just do this my rig is perfectly working and that's pretty actually pretty advanced rig so okay as you can see there are some issues of weight band so you can actually solve this by just selecting that and then selecting your rig and then your model and then going to the weight band and I can actually as you can see that I have to remove the weight from that as you can see it's now going to be fixed so you just need to give some more time to it and then you would get that rig but it's a pretty powerful way because most of the online 3D models have really good rig so that can be really helpful okay so on the third we have the rigify add-on so it's a blender default add-on you can just come up here to the preference and search for rigify and turn on that thing and now you can actually shift a and come up here to the armature and you'll get a lot of these models so some of them are from humans like birds cats horse and that kind of stuff but there are some human advanced meta rig and some basic rig so I would put a basic rig here just for an example and I would scale this one come up here and turn on the visibility in front and go to the edit mode make sure we have the symmetry turned on and now I can actually rotate this like this put it up here match it with our model
okay so there are also a feature for their facial rig and everything but there are tons of video on this one so you can just search for that and you'll get the proper result but for now it's just um, selecting your rig first and then select all control P and with automatic weights and this is how you are able to do that again there are some wet, wet pant issues that you need to solve but other than that it really worked good and it's a really good way of rigging our character okay the fourth method is actually rigging it manually so what we have to do is shift a and add a single bone and then we have to do the structuring so we would put it up here and just try to extrude it a few times and as you can see I am making this simple structure now shift D rotate that and extrude it again extrude it again and extrude it again So what you can do is you can rename our bones like it's legs top and this one is legs bottom and for example this one is the feet. Okay so also put a dot and if it's the right side so we have to put R. So dot r and feet dot r so now uh, it's actually really easy to symmetrize this one we just have to right click and make this one symmetrize and uh, according to this dot l it will actually make it exactly opposite like that so this one was the right and this is now the left one so same you can do for um, the ha the hands so I would just put it up here extrude and extrude again and now let's rename this one okay and now these three select and right click and make this one symmetrize so this is the really manual rig it's really powerful cause um, it's more customized and actually you are able to do a lot more than the free presets so so now i would select all and control p and then do it with automatic weights and actually as you can see again there are some wet paint issues uh, the only mixamo rig was the one that after that we didn't get any of the wet paint issues but other than that all of them have that so you have to manually fix these kind of stuff okay on number five it's my favorite way but it's bad so i'm sorry for that but it's a really good add-on that can actually do a lot better than these all methods so my preference would be to use this one if you can purchase this one but let's just enjoy the result so i have this model and the add-on name is Autoric Pro so you can download that the link will be in the description so after installing that you have to um, select all and then press N and you would get this menu so you can come up here to the smart option and click on get selected objects and it's a full body character so I would go for that full body and after that it's really simple like the Mexamo one so you can just add the neck chin so but make sure that from the side view uh, the chin and that the neck is actually aligned that so shoulder and let's watch it from the top view shoulder should be at the place of shoulder and then here and now the spine one ankles okay now we can actually go for a facial setup so for the facial setup it's all here so I can just 
come up here and do some magic things like this and these are for cheeks and from the side view okay don't need it don't need to be aligned from the side view because it automatically pick up everything so just from the front view place the things like this okay this one is for the ears and for eyebrows okay I think we are done for that just it need to pick up the eyeballs so I would just join this one and I would click on one and just click on this one and it automatically pick if you already selected that so now it's already done and let's click on go so it will take some time and yep it's pretty much done now what we have to do is to click on match to rig and then it give the automatic and more advanced rig so everything has been set up uh, the only problem is that the mesh is not bent with it so what we have to do is to select all and then come up here to the um, skin actually and then click on bend and the tool is again that we first have to select our rig and then select all to select all the meshes and then we can just click on bend so it will take some time automatically and after that yep we are done and now as you can see the result I'm pretty excited for the result okay it's the head and yeah I think this is this is really really great I really love the way it do this kind of stuff and it's my favorite one because as you can see there are very less issues of uh, actually the wet paint and as you can see it's more advanced than everyone else so and you can also see the um, facial let's just see that what are the result there are chances to uh, it also gives some errors but most of the time it's really good as you can see and it's workable but if you want you can just improve it more and I think that's pretty pretty cool okay so that was it from my side now you can tell in comments that which method is your favorite and why and are you going to buy this add-on and is it worth, worth it or not so tell me in comments and now see you in the next video for now bye